Hello there, people of the universe. My name is Mike Sfy, and welcome to a brand new video. Before we get started, I want to apologize for the sizable gap in content. The last two videos were my Batman live action tier list video, which if you saw that, thank you so much. Or rather, if you saw and enjoyed that, thank you very much. And then the other video was the second episode of me playing Arkham Asylum, where I'm basically playing on Twitch. I do want to get back to that, by the way. So if anyone's waiting for that, I do apologize. And just in general, I apologize for the lack of content. While I've been gone, Doctor Who kind of came back. And it's been a bop week after week after week. I'm still a bit confused about some things in 73 yards, but I'm sure we'll figure that out come the finale. Which, speaking of, I am planning to go through and do a review of all of the episodes in RTD2. So, The Star Beast, Wild Blue Yonder, The Giggle, The Church on Ruby Road, Space Babies, The Devil's Code, Boom, and 73 Yards. But before we get to that, uh, about a week or two ago from when you're seeing this, I went to Brighton to surprise my girlfriend and companion Lucy. There she is as my companion. There she is as my girlfriend. While in Brighton, I bought a few things Doctor Who related and I just wanted to do a video showing them off. So hopefully you don't mind. We went into Forbidden Planet and I got this. It is a 14th Doctor... Oh, sorry about the lights. And I've not started reading it just yet, but it is supposed to be... Um, the first adventure of 14. Here we go. I'm trying to turn the pages delicately. It is meant to be literally right after he regenerates from the 13th Doctor on the cliff. It was annoying because Lucy got this as well, but she also got a second book, and it was a collection of 10 rows adventures. And there was, I think, one or two in there that I have always wanted to read. And I remember being so jealous because I was like, oh, I, I, did, I didn't want to get both, but I, just, I decided on this one. We went into HMV. You'll probably guess what this is. It is the Blu-ray for the 60th anniversary specials. I was going to get this and the Church on Ruby Road, but I'd already spent a decent amount that I was like, I can't really afford to do both, so I'll just get this for now. But I am planning to get Church on Ruby Road when I next go to HMV. And then the last thing I got in Brighton, uh, but not the last thing I'm showing in the video, because these other things, while, like I just said, I, I didn't get them in Brighton, I did get them around the same time, and I just wanted an excuse to show them off. So hopefully you guys don't mind. First is a Necros Dalek from Revelation of the Daleks. Specifically, this one is from the BNM History of the Daleks pack. Uh, I've got another one, which is from the OG Sixth Doctor and Dalek 2 pack. I don't remember what year those Doctor Dalek 2 packs were a thing, but uh, I did. I did. I'd get the. I did get the Revelation one of that. But this one is, like I said, from the B&M set and is very cool. I'd rather have the Remembrance of the Dalek, Imperial Dalek, because that's just my favourite classic Dalek design, probably tied with the Genesis ones. But I do love the Imperial Daleks. I always have. And when we eventually get a Disney-funded Dalek story in the new series, I, I personally would love it if we got another Dalek Civil War because Remembrance of the Daleks is probably... It's probably my favourite classic Doctor Who story of them all. Now, before we carry on, I just want to ask if you guys don't mind, what is your favourite classic Doctor Who Dalek story? Carrying on, the next two things I got, um, literally the day after I got back from Brighton, was these two things. All of these next things are from a guy on Vinted who, I swear I'm buying the majority of his Daleks. We've got another B&M Dalek. This is meant to be the Metaltron from Series 1 Dalek. Very cool. You'll notice he's more gold than he is bronze, and you'll see a comparison in a moment. And then as well, we've got the Series 4 Supreme Dalek. You might notice his eye is looking a bit shorter than it should. Um, the guy did mention in the listing that the original eye broke off, so we had to glue this one back on, which means we can only go so far up and we can't go to a straight 90 degree. But the thing I'm most happy about is that he can rotate his head. Davros, you have betrayed the Daleks. I'm not Nicholas Briggs. <laughs> That's not what the Daleks sound like. Let's try that again. Yep, that was more accurate. Then finally, uh, there's three more Daleks. Long story short, recently I have been going through the task of building back up my new series Dalek 5-inch collection. Because when I was young and I used to like play and I have like an army of Daleks against an army of Cybermen. 
And I think I got all my other monsters with me and my nephew and we'd mess about and all oh, massive army attacking one another. But over the years, I'd customise them, I'd repaint them. And before I knew it, I had no new series Daleks, which, whoops! So I've been, over the last couple of weeks, building the army back up. And my shelf, which you can just see there, there's, that's Dalek sec. I've kind of run out of room. I've got one spot at the back, but I'm trying to get a Planet of the Daleks, Supreme Dalek to go there. Um, but anyway, up first, now I've got two of these, is a Mutant Reveal. Just open him up. There you go. If we cut this in half and then open the... The next section and stuck this in place could be how it looks in the episode and then as well if we took the head and the neck off and weathered it a bit more it could be dalek khan speaking of the mutant reveal if i bring in the metaltron the bnm one you'll notice around the the gun section there is like a gap like a line just just there and you'd think wait is this a mutant reveal in disguise which it wasn't i think it was just how it was molded but on some of the ones i'll show you in a moment you would think, if you pull hard enough, will it open? Which, no, don't do that, but, yeah. As well, a difference you might have noticed when I was doing this is on the newer releases, the appendages are a lot better scaled, shall we say? Which is fine, it's not a big deal. But apparently, a friend of mine told me that these ones being, like, as big as they are was because this was a prototype version which wasn't supposed to go into production. I don't know if anyone can confirm that, but... If that is true, that is very interesting. Anyway, so that's Mutant Reveal. Like I said, I've now got two of those. My last two Daleks are members of the Cult of Scarrow, which is handy because, like I said, Dalek Sec is back there. Okay, up first, we've got Dalek Thay. And if you notice very quick from the side, you can maybe see the thing I mentioned. Like, if I bring in the actual Mutant Reveal one, maybe see the line, kind of... Oh, as well, something you might notice, uh, you know, I was mentioning um, a bit ago, the Metaltron is more gold than bronze. If we put a cut of Scaro next to, next to him, I don't know if you can tell, like, this one is a lot more brighter, whereas this one is, I think, dollar, I don't know if you can tell. I think the difference is a lot more noticeable on my 10th Doctor and Crucible Dalek, two-pack Dalek figure. But yeah, we've got Dalek Thay. This, I think, is meant to be the second release of the Court of Scarrow because he has the painted eye stalk. I remember when I was a kid and I, I got my first Court of Scarrow figures, they did have the painted eye stalks, which I think was, was when that version of the set just came out and I was like really excited about it. The last one is, and I mentioned him a moment ago, is Dalek Khan. The one who, instead of taking the Doctor's offer of help, he ran away on wheels back into the time war and went a little bit batty. I don't know what the technical term for a Dalek going insane is. But there we go. We've got Dalek Khan, Dalek Thay. I just need Dalek Jas now because I have got sex, like I keep saying. Though it's tricky because when I when I bought these off Vinted, um, I bought all three. I bought those first two together and then these three together. And I didn't know that they were Cult of Scarrow members. I just knew that that was a mutant reveal and these were two standard ones. But they're not standard. They are members of an elite group. Very cool. It's very cool on the shelf at the front having the Supreme One, Dalek Sec and Davros. All the new series versions. It is very cool. Okay, so that's where we're going to leave this video here. Though, before I go, I, just have, I do just have one more thing, if you guys don't mind. If you've watched all the way through, then you might be excited about this. Uh, it's not Dalek-related, though it is Doctor Who-ness. Um, recently, with the new series, I was going to say the 60th anniversary as well, but I knew David and Catherine were going to be amazing. But with Series 1, I have been, week after week, captivated and blown away by how amazing Shooty and Millie are as the 15th Doctor and Ruby Sunday. They are brilliant. The TARDIS is beautiful. Russell, in my opinion, has still got it. And I, it's going to sound silly maybe, but I feel like a kid again when I was growing up watching the 10th Doctor. And I, I am in love as ever with the show that saved my life. And not just that, it's given me a massive creative boost because I want to do Doctor Who videos again. I've got a new sonic screwdriver replica that I want to show off in a video. That could be fun, maybe. Uh, but as well, some projects that I've been working on with some script writing software. But I wrote this sketch. Uh, it's called Homesick. It's going to be a sketch about the Doctor feeling homesick. And he basically comes to talk to me for some advice. And I won't say anything else about it. Um, but as well as that... Something else I wasn't going to show you, but I think it could be cool. Okay, don't be alarmed. I'm off screen, but I do have the microphone because the thing I'm going to show you 
it is quite big. This is basically the prototype for my upcoming TARDIS console build. Uh, these are the panels made out of cardboard. I've got four of six. And I did this just to try and... When it's all done on all six sides, I don't want it to... So that the panel isn't too high up. So when you've got the lever and stuff, it isn't like up here. So I've got to try and figure that out. And then eventually this will be made out of wood. Because that folder you might have just seen there, that is just there. That's my script folder because I am currently in the process of writing stuff for my Doctor Who series. That project that I've been wanting to do for years and years. It's it's finally getting up off the ground. I'm, what lie to you, I'm, I'm kind of stuck with a writer's block moment at the moment. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, I'm going to go because the raw footage is now 23 minutes. And I'm scared this video is going to be too long. But honestly, from the bottom of my heart, and by the way, count those. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys have been enjoying the new series, let me know because I personally think it is top tier. Shooty Gatwall's Doctor is he's absolutely amazing and it scares me that they've already finished filming the next series, Series 15, Season 2. Because it's like, what if they're filming, what if we're watching Series 3 and they're filming Shooty's final season? It's, it's, it, it sounds daft, but I, I am already very much in love with the 15th Doctor. He is spectacular in every sense of the word. But anyway, what are you guys thinking of the series? What do you guys think of these Daleks? I don't know, just I hope this video was fun, and if not, well then I do apologise. But yeah, and again, I apologise for the lack of content. Maybe if this video isn't very good, it's because I'm rusty. I'm also rambling. Sorry. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, be kind, be good to one another, and I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm a living legend. You ain't heard yet, you not get the message. From the moment that I'm stepping in, I get a couple weapons. Yeah, I turn to a beast when I'm repping. Hey. I'm a living legend.